this is the earphone free too. A true wireless earbuds in the below $50 price range. I never used the original earphone free, but this is meant to be an improved set, so I was excited to try it out. Earphone entered this fairly crowded market recently and has made a good impression from what I can tell. But are they any good? Let's take them for a spin, shall we? Well, first of all, where are we? Uh, this is middle of Gloucestershire in the UK, uh, basically near Bath uh, in England. This is the second episode of the series and what we're going to be doing here is talking about the tech that I love but I don't have enough time to create an 8 to 10 minutes long video. So I get sent quite a few products to review, some of them never make to a video to be honest with you. This is a chance for you to actually contribute and vote on what I review next but also an opportunity to win some of these products so stay tuned for that, more on that later. And today, as you may have guessed by the thumbnail, we're going to talk about the Earphone Free 2. Uh, full disclosure, Earphone sent me these to review and they haven't paid me for the review, they haven't told me what to say, and they're gonna see the content the same time as you. As with all my reviews, if I find anything wrong with this product, you will hear about it, and spoiler alert, they're not perfect. Why do I say that? For me, they don't get very loud. Let me rephrase it, they do get loud, but after a certain point, let's say, I don't know, you know, the last three clicks of the volume, you lose some of the definition on the trebles, and, and it gets really distorted, it's not very pleasant to, to listen to. It does get loud, the volume is there, but there's a drop in the quality. So, but back in the day, believe it or not, I used to be a DJ, so my eardrums are probably destroyed. So uh, it's not gonna be the same for everyone. For most people, this is probably gonna be okay. And something else you should take into account is, I'm just some dude on the internet, right? It's not, I'm not an audio expert. I have reviewed lots of, uh, my dog's just gone mental. <laughs> Chucky boy. I have reviewed earbuds and some headphones on the channel before. I love my audio, but at the end of the day, I'm not an audio expert, okay? The other thing you should take into account is I'm terrible at vlogging, so let's go back to the office. <laughs> in terms of connectivity, I've been using this with my S20 on Ultra via Bluetooth. It's been really solid in terms of connection. It hasn't dropped out at all. I like the fact that you can listen to just one side at a time if you want to, and because they are very, they have a really decent seal, that passive noise cancellation is quite good as well. So if you're waiting for a package or you want to make sure you can hear others, this feature might come in handy. In terms of specs, it uses Bluetooth 5.2. The advertised range is 15 meters without any obstacles. In practical terms, you can totally leave the earbuds downstairs and, and roam around the house unless you've got like a, a massive mansion or whatever. Of course, this will depend on your location, but I found that really useful. So you don't have to carry your device around with you all the time. And the battery capacity is 50 milliamps in each earbud plus 400 milliamps on the charging case. It takes about an hour and a half to fully charge the earbuds and two hours to fully recharge the case. If you're using wireless charging, it will take three hours to recharge the case. It weighs 48 grams, but I don't think the weight is, is an issue here. They are quite large though, so it might take some time to get used to the fit. For me, it took a few goes to get used to them and trying different ear tips as well to get used to putting them on, but it is just a case of getting used to the size. Once you get used to that and how they sit inside your ear, they're quite comfortable. All the bits that are in contact with your ear, with kind of the inside of your ear, are rounded, so they don't really cause any discomfort there. The case is really good, very strong magnets, maybe too strong at times. The earbuds themselves are a little bit slippery, so I find it sticks to the case quite a bit. So the good news is they're not going to fall off very easily. With the super low latency mode turned off, I did find some latency actually when watching content on social media and also when just typing on the phone. But using that super low latency mode, it was a much better experience. I didn't notice any latency then. It does consume more battery in that mode, but I think it's worth turning it on. Not so much for music listening or audiobooks but, uh, or podcasts, for example, but if you're into gaming or you know when you're typing, it can be quite distracting to hear keystrokes with a bit of a delay. So turn that on. That's what really worked for me. Having said that, when I connected to a device that was running a beta software of iOS, I did notice a bit of a crackling issue. So I'm not sure at the moment whether it's my phone or if it's an issue with the earbuds itself. Because I tried it with a, a Samsung device and had no issues with the low latency mode, I'm putting that down to my beta software on that second device. In terms of battery life, you can charge them very quickly for an extra two hours and wireless charging is very convenient as well. I did have an issue with one pair, but the customer service was fantastic and they actually just sent me a replacement straight away without any questions asked. And they've been really good, you know, kudos to Earphone for being so responsive and so understanding as well of the situation. Sometimes it's not about just the product, but also the customer service that, that comes with it. As a consumer, that really matters. The ear tips are great, but if you watch Jeff from Ill Heavy Reviews, he really rates the SpinFit CP360s 
I haven't tried those myself, but the one that Earphone sent are good enough for my ears. In terms of touch controls, again, it takes a little while to get used to it, but it does everything, which is great. You know, play, pause, skip forward and back, and also turning on the super latency mode uh, as well, just by holding it down on the left ear, I think. So it's very, very convenient. Personally, I only tried J Labs before in this sort of price range, uh, and a few other more expensive earbuds, like, you know, the Galaxy Buds Pro, Apple AirPods Pro, and also the Liberty Air 2 Pros. And in comparison with those, this is not as bass heavy, but it's no slouch. It does pack a bit of a punch, uh, for this price range. If you if you really like loud music, then this may not be for you. As I said, you know, they do get loud, but after a certain point, it starts to distort quite a bit. It's not distracting or anything. It's just not as rich for voice, I thought. If you're someone who really enjoys audiobooks and podcasts for a long period of time, just bear that in mind. These don't come with an app, which is kind of expected at this price range. So you have to get your own EQ, but out of the box, they're good enough for most people, I think. But for longer sessions of music listening, if you're someone who likes to tweak the sound a little bit, you might want to get your own EQ. The Earphone Free 2 also don't have an active noise cancellation, but the passive noise cancellation is fantastic. You know, the downside of that is that if you're, if you're listening to music and someone is trying to have a chat with you, even in the same room, I found that, you know, it's not possible. You have to either take one of them off or turn the volume right down. But for focused work, listening to music while you work, this is fantastic as it cuts out most of those unwanted noises. Let's take them outside so we can do a quick call quality test for you. All right, so a quick call quality test here so you can hear for yourself what the earphone 3 2 sound like when speaking to someone on the phone. Proper practice and preparation prevents piss poor performance. Please vote on what I should review next. Just pop a comment down below. I have these Apple Watch straps from Pitaka, this really cool eco-friendly case for the iPhone and also this combo hub. It's a hub but also a wireless charger, a USB-C docking station, all in one. Really cool product. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos in this series. One of you lucky viewers will win some of these products that I review on Tech Tuesdays. So there is a link in the description for you. You don't need to be subscribed to my channel to participate, by the way, but it would be nice if you are. And I'll see you and your smiling faces on the next one. Bye.